I just can't imagine why we would leave $125 million in taxes paid by Virginians, many of them on the table, instead of helping out Virginia workers who are so hard hit. I'm going to Martinsville tomorrow, uh, an economy that's just been blasted. I'm spending a lot of time out across the Commonwealth in places where the, where the unemployment rates doubled in the last year. And the notion that this, I heard one of the comments made on the floor that, you know, when are we going to say no to the federal government? This was not about the federal government. This was not about an ideological battle, you know, with some distant foe. This is about looking into the eyes of Virginians who have lost their jobs. Our unemployment rate is the highest it's been in the last 20 years. Parents with kids worrying about health care for their kids, worrying about how they're going to pay their rent and their mortgage, worrying about how they're going to pay for their kids' schooling. That's what this is about. It's about the people that you were sent to represent. And so we're paying taxes uh, that could come back to Virginia to help these people who are hit in the hardest economy we've had in the last 50 or 60 years. They're not coming back to Virginia. And the notion that this was just some jolly ideological crusade to shake our fist against somebody up in D.C. is just such a misunderstanding of what this job is supposed to be about. Now, I assume everybody, you know, always acts on their own principles, but I just got to say, I just don't understand what some of those principles are. So that would be the disappointment from today. And, hey, I'm, you know, I've got a job. It's not going to affect me. It's not going to affect me at all, but there's an awful lot of people who are hurting in Virginia in ways that they haven't hurt in the last generation in this commonwealth. And the, the message to them seems to be just, we don't care. We don't care. Fend for yourself. Be a hunter and gatherer, you know. Go out and, you know, live off the land. And, and the, the government that you put in place that you expect to be by and for the people is just turning a deaf ear to you. And so, you know, for whatever the gain is in, in winning the ideological battle, shaking your fist against Washington, you know, Virginia's been in that place before. Virginia has had a history of wanting to shake their fist against Washington. It has never, ever worked out right. It has never worked out right. When we try to divide ourselves from our national government and pretend that they're evil and we're somehow paragons of virtue, we unfailingly have made huge mistakes. And I think in this instance, we've made a huge mistake. Fortunately, it is one that can be corrected, and I hope it will be.